More local news now. The Jacksonville Port Authority is being sued by a former contract worker who claims that she was pressured into having sex before and after being promoted. The woman's former employer, the U.S. Security Associates, is also named in that lawsuit. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us uh, live now to talk about the lawsuit. The woman claims that this began after a Jack's Port employee encouraged her to apply for the job. Bruce and Jen, yes, that's what the lawsuit says. And the woman who filed it, Glenda Prinzi, Glenda Prinzi, she was working at USSA when she says employee Steve Radigan encouraged her to apply for a position at the Jacksport Communications Department. That was back in 2015. She says in that lawsuit, after applying, the sexual harassment started. Speaking at a meeting Monday, Jacksport CEO Eric Green wanted to make it clear he does not tolerate workplace harassment. The comment comes in response to a lawsuit that has been filed with Jacksport being named as a defendant. A woman named Glenda Prinzi claiming she was pressured into sex before and after being promoted. In the lawsuit, Prinzi claims Steve Radigan made sexual advances and asked her to go to a hotel room for sex several times. When she told Radigan she wasn't comfortable doing that, Prinzi said Radigan emphasized helping her to secure a job. Also in the lawsuit, Prinzi said she worried that if she did not have sex with Radigan, he would undermine her chances at fairly applying for the job. Also mentioned in the lawsuit is the director of Jacksport Security, Charles White. In the lawsuit, Prinzi said White made sexual advances toward her in 2016 and asked when they would have a quote, real rendezvous like the one she had with Radigan. It goes on to say White promoted Prinzi, telling her to go to a hotel room for sex. Fearing she would lose her job, the lawsuit says Prinzi agreed. While he wouldn't comment on the specifics of the lawsuit, Green said harassment isn't tolerated under his watch. While it is our longtime policy not to comment on specifics of current litigation, I want to reiterate that I have a zero tolerance for workforce harassment of any kind. I have communicated this clearly with all of our employees when I took over as CEO and have done so repeatedly. And Green goes on to say that all Jacksport employees are required to go through mandatory anti-harassment training. Now that lawsuit also says Charles White no longer works at Jacksport. We're live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.